morning! Just about. Welcome to a very sunny M40 motorway on a foot down Friday. And welcome to what has been a fantastic week. It has been exhausting. I've had two mega days, one normal day and two quieter days of these, this five day week. And it's been one of the best financial weeks so far this year. And I'm in a good mood. And I'm on my way back to offload, then go home for the weekend. And it's a bank holiday weekend again. Not ideal. I like working work all day every day. But, oh well, get to spend some more time with the family, which is absolutely perfect. Right, Monday. What did we do on Monday? Monday, I was doing a wait and return job. So the job was Stockport, deliver it to Wolverhampton. I was waiting for them to strip down some old kit, put it back on me, and fit the new kit, obviously. But it did not go that way. <laughs> I ended up sat there on site for about three and a half hours, and then being told to leave because um, the stuff they were uninstalling, they couldn't actually do that day. They weren't doing it until Thursday. Um, and then I started, I left about 15 minutes away and I got a phone call to go back and do a site clearance and pick up all the rubbish that was on site. So I went back, cleared it, and went back and dropped all in Stockport. So that took me a whole day, pretty much. And that was literally Stockport to Wolverhampton and back. Tuesday, what did we do on Tuesday? Well, Tuesday was a hell of a long day. Tuesday was 750 miles. So I collected, at, well, I got to Lutterworth at 7 a.m., got loaded by half eight, and went straight up to Perth, a place called Creeth. It's a Perth postcode, and did my delivery. And whilst I was there, they went, oh, we only, we only need half of this stuff. Can you take it? Can you take the other half back? So I got a return load back to Stockport on a much lower rate, obviously, because it was a return load for my customer. But still, what a day. Mega money day. Plus, we had another van out doing Stockport to Wolverhampton. And we had a looting out doing Witness to Derby. Wednesday. What did we do on Wednesday? Wednesday was a quiet day. I was absolutely knackered from Tuesday. So Wednesday for me, I did a collection from Ashbourne back to Stockport. That was after I cleared the side clearance out of my garage and took it back to my customer, uh, which I've been storing since Monday. And we also had Neil at Neptune Couriers doing a delivery for us in Air. I think it was Air. Anyway, it turned out to be around the corner from his house. So, it was uh, very well for it, well for him and very well for me. So, that was Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday was a good day as well. Thursday was a typical day for me. So, it was Stockport down to Harrow, across to Essex, reload, back up to Stockport. And simple day, another 500 plus mile a day. Nice earner. Nothing else out on that day apart from me. And Friday, today, what have we done today? Well, this morning I left my house at midnight. <laughs> well, I got up at midnight, I left at half past. Fueled up and I got down to Dorset for 5 a.m. Did my 5 a.m. delivery in Dorset. Headed over to Harrow, another two and a half hours across. Actually took three because obviously by then traffic had built up and did my first site clearance in Harrow. Went over to another site in Harrow, did my second site clearance, and here I am now, on my way back to Stockport to offload it all. We also had Neil out again at Neptune Couriers, absolutely doing an amazing job as usual. He also has a waste license now, so he did a site clearance for us up in Perth, delivered it back to Glasgow. Thank you very much, mate. And that is our week. And I personally have done over 2,600 miles, uh, which is good going. 
Normally, our average from there between 2,000 to 2,500. But with two quiet days and still managing that mileage, I'm happy. Well, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, absolutely knackered. And we've spent about just over £500, including VAT, for fuel this week, which is a bit more than, well, um, it's about 50 to 100 pounds more than normal, but it has been a lot, like two massive days where I've spent quite a bit in fuel. I actually need to get fuel now because I've just realised I don't have any. Um, so I'll be coming off and getting fuel shortly, hopefully. And financially, my God, it's just been an absolutely cracking week. Um, to say we've beaten our targets would be an understatement. We've doubled our target for the week, really. And because we only had four drivers out and I did the majority of the work myself this week, we don't actually owe that much money out to drivers. Only around the £600 mark, including that. So I am very, very happy. Very, very happy with this week. But I know, and I'm not trying to rub it in, and I know there's still people out there that are struggling to find work. And this is why I've said a few times now that you, if you're going to make this work, you need to find customers. Because running on the CX solely, I know lads that can make a living, but I know a lot of lads that are struggling to do so. And I know a lot of lads that are struggling to find one job a day, let alone two or three, like you're going to need to run on the CX full time. So it is a hard gig. I don't think anyone should just jump straight into this at the minute, unless you have a potential customer behind you, backing you, that's going to pay you a decent, fair amount of money, which I have a couple of. And I'm very, very pleased I have a couple of. And I'm going to keep them happy for as long as I can, make sure they stick with me. And they don't go running off to any of the uh, the bigger shippers out there. But that has been my week, and it has been a fantastic week, and I'm absolutely over the moon. I've got three hours left of driving back to Stockport, offload. Then I'm going home, and I'm going to spend some time with my family, enjoy the weekend, enjoy the sun. It's been lovely and warm all weekend, and I've been sat in a non-air conditioned van up all week. Uh, so, all weekend I'm going to spend a lovely time with the family, have a nice relaxing time, and then back at it next week. It's a short week for me next week. I'm only working Thursday and Friday. So, I'll make them two days count and uh, try and make some big money on them things. Thank you all for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Thank you for getting me over a thousand subs. Really appreciate it. And... I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.